Food is something that unites us, enlightens us to new flavors and cultures, and food tells a story. Today, it tells a story of overcoming immense challenges, taking a risk, and ultimately succeeding. It is one of staying true to your culture and your experiences, but also adding your own spice to what you do. Okay, move out. During the Vietnam War, there was another battle going on. The U.S. CIA enlisted the help of Hmong people to fight in the secret war against communists. We have no choice but to flee the country. My dad did not want to leave. He just had no choice. It was very difficult. It took us 10 days to, to go from our village in, to the Mekong River. Over 500,000 people died on the journey to cross the Mekong River which serves as a border between Laos and Thailand. Those fortunate enough to make it found themselves in some of many refugee camps in Thailand, Malaysia, and the Philippines. These camps were overcrowded and did not have the resources to support the millions of people they housed. We stayed there for six years because my dad did not want to come to America. He wanted to wait until th there was peace in Laos and he wanted to return, so we just kept waiting and waiting until to see if there's peace. But there was no peace, so finally my mom decided that we, we, we will go to America. When we first um, came to America, um, language barrier was a, a very big problem f for us. Um, however, we, we felt safe and going to school was, was very tough, but at least we were learning English and we were, we were learning and getting an education. Chia started going to school and learning English, while her sister Mai got a job at Anchor Foods, now McCain Foods, stuffing peppers. On the weekends, she opened up a stall at the downtown farmer's market. She got really popular selling stuffed chicken wings and spring rolls, so that really pushed her to take on a, a bigger role in the, in the uh, food scene in Appleton here, and she decided to quit her job and uh, open up a restaurant in 2010. I would say that what she's doing is more authentic in terms of um, what she grew up with in Thailand. What's authentic is basically what you grew up with. So I wouldn't say necessarily that what, we're, what I cook is authentic to what somebody who has um, you know, eaten food growing up in Thailand. Uh, but yet it would be some of the things we eat are authentic to, to us because we grew up with that cuisine. Hmong people, their cuisine is actually just an amalgamation, a combination of everything that they've ate throughout the years from country to country to country and they combine things, do separate things, and they kind of make that their own um, cuisine. Mai couldn't have done this all alone. Her son, Lang Lee, had grown up helping with the restaurant and had a passion for it. But he wanted to branch out and show the world that he could do his own thing. I wanted to kind of showcase and highlight what I can do as a uh, restaurant owner, also a, uh, a foodie person. Um, I really like enjoying different types of food, getting out there, seeing different foods, and seeing what I can bring in. So I like to take what I can learn and see, and say, hey, you know, what's something I can do that's Southeast Asian, but yet still try to stay, um, it's most relevant to the original cuisine and stuff like that. Lang now runs Big Pot, a Viet Cajun seafood restaurant in Appleton. He brings his passion for food and his restaurant into every delicious meal he cooks. But Chia Lee took a much different path. Her desire to help people and her willingness to learn led her to pursue a career as a teacher. Every year when I started teaching, I would do like um, a unit on Hmong people. I would teach my students about why Hmong people came to America. And just recently, a, a couple years ago, uh, the seventh grade curriculum actually included the Hmong, you know, a, a Hmong unit. So when I first started in Appleton, there were not a lot of Hmong teachers. I'm just so happy that this this district is embracing our culture and our history and including our, you know, like, you know, include that in the curriculum. I would really say if you're, you have a passion for cooking, I would say just go do your own style and, and find the customers that actually appreciate your food and target those customers and make sure that whatever you're cooking, you do it with the passion. Appleton is home to an amazing story of a family who came to the U.S. with nothing, surrounded by a language they couldn't speak. Their passion for food and their drive to succeed has left them with successful restaurants, fulfilling careers, and a chance to show the world the flavors they have to offer. Through their food, they tell their story. <laughs>